Okay, blue spinning circle. When will we be done? Hey, that was quick today. That was better than the last couple of days. Got up live real quickly here on this Friday afternoon. It is May the 8th. Heading into another weekend, Mother's Day weekend. So that's awesome. And I got a request from somebody to do a song, an old song, an old hymn. So uh, this is for you, Tracy. I don't know. Hey, Alicia. I don't know if you'll be able to tune in today, Tracy. But if you get to watch it now or later, that'd be great. Hey, Lee. Getting ready for your trip. I'm praying for you. But this is an old song. Uh, I ne I'd never heard it before. I had to look it up and learn it. And it's called Hiding in Thee. And one of the things it reminds me of is this song was written in 1876. So, hey, Glenn, about 150 years ago, this song was written. And it shows us that people had problems even back then. Hey, Bruce. Uh, people had problems. They always have had problems. And uh, the answer has always been the same, just uh, hiding in the Lord. This song has an interesting history. The music was written by a man named Ira Sankey. Ira Sankey also wrote songs like What a Mighty God We Serve, Standing on the Promises, I Surrender All, There is Power in the Blood, and possibly his most famous song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. So he was a songwriter, and he sometimes collaborated with others. The lyrics to this song were written by a man named William Cushing. And it was written in Morovia, New York in 1876. Here's what Mr. Cushing said about this song. It must be said of this hymn, that it was the outgrowth of many tears, many heart conflicts, and many soul yearnings of which the world can know nothing. The history of many battles is behind it. So that's why I'm saying people have always had struggles and difficulties, but they've always known the smart ones to turn to the Lord in the midst of those troubles. And he says that Mr. Sankey, Ira Sankey, called him and asked him to help write something new. And he said, uh, it seemed like a call from God. And so I regarded it and prayed, Lord, give me something that I may glorify thee. It was while thus waiting that hiding in thee pressed to make itself known. So a couple of thoughts on this. One is this is a song about running to the Lord and hiding in him. Um, and I think it's important for us to remember it's not what we're running from that matters because problems come and go. They change. It's always who we're running to that matters. It's not what we're hiding from that matters. It's who we're hiding in that matters. Now, uh, William Cushing said that this was based on Psalm 31, verse 2. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me quickly. Be to me a rock of strength, a stronghold to save me. Beautiful words. I also thought it reflected a little bit also of uh, Psalm 27. For in the day of trouble, he will conceal, conceal me in his tabernacle. In the secret place of his tent, he will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock. So that's what the Lord does for us. He hides us, he lifts us up, he puts us on solid ground. So that's the, that's the background of this song. I wanna sing that for you today. Maybe some of you who grew up in more traditional churches where they did a lot of hymns will know this, in which case you'll probably realize I'm doing it wrong. But in any event, this is my version of hiding in thee. Oh, safe to the rock that is higher than I. My soul in its conflicts and sorrows would fly. Alone I would perish, undone I would be. Thou blessed rock of ages, I'm hiding in thee. 
hiding in thee, hiding in thee, thou blessed rock of ages. I'm hiding in thee, in the calm of the noontime, in sorrow's lone hour, in times when temptation casts o'er me its power, in tempests of life, on its wide heaving sea, thou blessed rock of ages, I'm hiding in thee, hiding in thee, hiding in thee, thou blessed rock of ages, I'm hiding in thee. How often the conflict, when pressed by the foe, I have fled to my refuge and breathed out my woe. How often, when trials like sea billows roll, have I hidden in thee, O thou rock of my soul. Hiding in thee, hiding in thee, thou blessed rock of ages. I'm hiding in thee. So it's a really beautiful song if it's done even remotely like that. I uh, thank you, Tracy, for recommending it. And I think it's great for us to be reminded 150 years ago, they weren't dealing with what we're dealing with now, but they were dealing with things that caused them to run to the safety of that blessed rock of ages, Jesus Christ, and to hide beneath the shadow of his wings. And so that's a little thought for all of us for Friday. As we get through this current crisis, there will be future things. The problems will change. The answer will remain the same. Jesus Christ is always the answer. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So I'll be back tomorrow afternoon with uh, some more thoughts, another song. Thank you for joining in today. And um, if you can share this with some other folks, that'd be great. They need to know about that blessed rock of ages too. All right, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully see you tomorrow. And we'll have an awesome Sunday service at Praise Tabernacle this weekend if you can join us for that. Take care, love you.